Today, you get an awesome new Twitch subscribe animation, just like that one up there. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today, we're back inside of After Effects, taking a break from the lighting video we did last week. I wanna do more videos like that, more videos about shooting videos, lighting, uh, camera techniques, editing, all sorts of stuff that goes into making YouTube videos. But today, we're back to doing some Twitch live stream stuff, and you're gonna be getting your own subscribe graphic that can drop down on top of your stream whenever you want, when you install it inside of something like Stream Elements. But this is all done inside of After Effects. If you have After Effects, you can head down into the description right now and download this template, but it might be a little bit confusing to edit that template. So before you download it, or as you have it downloading, continue watching this video, and we're gonna go over how you edit the template, say your name, have your logo in there, all kinds of stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into After Effects and take a look at how to edit this template. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. This is what the template will look like when you open it up from when you download it in the description. You're gonna see we've got three compositions here. We've got the final render composition, we've got the edits composition, and we've got the Your Logo Here composition. The Your Logo Here one might be a little bit self-explanatory, but I'll go over it here in just a second. So in the Final Render tab, this is where you're gonna render it once all your changes are done. We can see the full Twitch animation here. It might not play all the way through, as you can see up here where it says not real time because it's currently rendering the animation. But the animation Animation is pretty cool it drops down and all the uh, graphics animate in in their own little way here scaling in or sliding in and then a little mouse comes in clicks the subscribe button and then we go back out so inside of this template you can change your name here and then you can change your logo so it looks like this is popping down from your twitch stream so the way we want to do that is we want to go over here to where it says your logo here and you're gonna see I've just got a photo of my normal logo or my normal AV that I have on twitch what you can do is you can just import your own profile picture and put it in right here so if I drop down into my assets here, you'll see I've got my old profile picture that I used to use. And if I drop it in here, make sure you scale it to fit. I can go ahead and delete this other one, or I can just hide it by hitting the little eye right there. And you can go ahead and scale this one, scale your profile picture to make sure it matches inside this composition, just like that. And if we go back to the final render, you'll now see that I've got this new or old logo, my old logo in here instead of my new one. So if I go back in here and turn this off, there's my new logo up in there. You see it auto updates and it looks pretty good in there, but then we can put on the old one, go back in here and you'll see it once again, auto updates and animates in and everything with my old logo. And you can put your own one in there. So that is how you change it to match the profile picture on Twitch. But then to change the name, you just want to go into the edit comp here and you see you only got two layers here. You got one that says Bravity M. That is obviously the text here. And the way you want to edit that is make sure you click on the layer, click on your text tool up here, and then you can click on where it says Bravity M and you can name it whatever you want. So if your name is John Doe 3214, you can change it just like that, but you're gonna notice something. Notice how this live button did not move and now it is in the way. And that is what this shape layer is right here. This shape layer two is for that live button. So if you go ahead and drop down into the transform tools of this shape layer, you can go ahead and move the position of this live button to make sure that it is no longer covering your name just like that. So those are the only things you have to edit. You have to jump into your logo here tab, place in your profile picture, jump into the edits, type out your name here, and then move that live button if needed. If your name is too long or too short, you can move that live button to make sure it looks nice. And if we go back into final render here and hit play, you're gonna see that everything is changed how we wanted. We've got the new profile picture in there. We We've got the new name, we've got the live button moved, everything animates perfectly into place. We've got the mouse coming in, clicking subscribe, and then going out. And that is all you have to change. That is it. Now it is ready to go inside of your Twitch stream. And whenever you're ready to export, you just want to make sure you are in the final render tab just like this and go up to composition and hit add to render queue. So there's a couple things you can do here once you're in the render tab. You can export it as a QuickTime and then maybe convert it to a WebM or just use the QuickTime instead of stream elements. Or you can export a WebM directly from After Effects. There's a lot of tutorials out there for how to install the WebM plugin for After Effects and for Premiere Pro and for the Media Encoder. If you want to tutorial on that, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to do that. But you can easily export WebM from After Effects. But today I'm going to show you how to export QuickTime because you can use a QuickTime file on your stream or you can take that QuickTime file and you can convert it to a WebM using like an online WebM encoder. So we're going to go ahead and go down here to where it says lossless in blue. Click on that and change the format from AVI to QuickTime. QuickTime is just a smaller and easier to work with file. Then over here where it says channels RGB, we're going to hit the drop down and go to RGB plus alpha and then 
hit OK. The plus alpha means that you're going to have the transparent background. You can see this transparent checkered background, and that is so that it doesn't have a black background and can actually go over the top of your stream and go over the top of your footage without having that black background. Then where it says output to final render in blue, you can click on final render, and that's when you name your file, whatever you want. You can save it wherever you want on your computer, and then you just want to hit render right here, and you are done. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. It was a little bit of a quick one, but I hope you enjoy the template. I hope you enjoy this awesome Twitch subscribe animation that you can have on your stream right now. I've seen a bunch of streamers using one similar to this, and I think it is a really cool style, and I wanted you guys to have access to that for your Twitch stream. Whenever I come back to streaming on Twitch, I am definitely going to be utilizing something similar to this that pops down on my stream. Maybe be able to cue it with a button on a stream deck, something like that. There's a lot of cool things you can do with subscribe graphics like this, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you jump down into the description, download the template, follow this video, edit it, get it on your stream so that your streams can look amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.